Good afternoon. My name is Jovana Rajcevic and I am project manager for winemaking in development sector of Plantage Company. At the beginning, I would like to thank the organizer of the GEA conference for this opportunity to present on behalf of Professor Dr. Vesna Maraš and her research uh, team the work related to viticulture zoning and grapevine diversity in Montenegro as base for mitigation of climate change. Now I will proceed with PowerPoint presentation. So it's well known that Montenegro is a small country, but country of great wines. In this country, a great wine growing tradition dates back from the Hellenistic period. For centuries, wine has been a part of Montenegrin tradition, religion, culture, and customs. In this very long tradition, autochthonous great wine varieties have a major role and uh, dominant place. According of viticulture, viticulture production area from 2017 in Montenegro, there is uh, 2,561 hectares of vineyards, 261 registered grapevine producers, and uh, here is formed uh, 108 wineries. Annual wine production is about 70 million liters, and from that volume, uh, 5.7 million liters go to export. The biggest producer in Montenegro is Trinestil Plantage Company, and this company owns the largest vineyard in Europe in one complex that covers a surface of 2,310 hectares with 11 million wines and with annual production of uh, 22 million kilos of table and wine grapes. Plantage is market leader and exports its wine to 64 countries all over the world. About quality of its wine testifies numerous awards from prestige international competitions. In Montenegro are very favorable conditions for grapevine growing and three factors are main for successful growing. These factors are climate, soil and variety. In any production, variety doesn't have such important role as in winemaking. Grapevine variety is related to territory, history and tradition. And in this way, national products represents a powerful marketing tool and it is value of origin, history, tradition, hard work, care and knowledge. Nowadays, the main ecological and socio-economic issues facing viticulture and wine production in the world, as well as in Montenegro, are climate change, effects of this change and mitigation measures. Extreme climatic conditions have a huge influence on physiological development uh, of the vine, development of diseases and pests, ripening and grape quality, chemical composition and wine quality. Changing climatic conditions over the next few decades uh, will be a challenge to preserve the level and quality of grape and wine production in the viticulture of Montenegro but it will also provide an opportunity for the development of intensive viticulture production in some areas in Montenegro where uh, this has not been possible so far. Anyway, careful selection of grapevine varieties is necessary. Systematic identification and implementation of adaption, adaption measures in order to mitigate the risks that climate change brings. Adaption measures could be divided in uh, short, medium and long-term strategies. And long-term adaption strategies require clear definition of viticultural area, appropriate variety clone rootstock selection and preservation of autochthonous varieties and further work on their clonal selection. In Montenegro, there are a large number of local domesticated and autochthonous grapevine varieties that are not fully identified. So research on diversity was focused on their collection, genetic identification, research of their origin. Uh, on the second step, uh, it was work on clonal selection of autochthonous grapevine varieties and all that in order to improve the grape and wine quality. Autochthonous and locally adapted varieties and populations that have survived as a result of centuries natural selection are a valuable source for a greater ability to adapt to climate change. 
The goal of this work is to present a viticultural zoning that was done in Montenegro, but also to present work on autochthonous local and domesticated grapevine varieties as long-term measures in mitigation of negative effects of climate change on the viticulture and winemaking sector in Montenegro. Regarding methods and materials, there are two methodologies. First, methodology in determining climatic conditions. Second, classification methodology of research soil and methodology of researching grapevine diversity that includes genetic identification and clonal selection. Results of this work will explain zoning of viticultural production areas in Montenegro. Uh, it will present it uh, climatic and soil characteristics and also these results uh, will present it uh, work on grapevine diversity in Montenegro. Zoning of viticultural area is based on the expert study of environmental conditions and agrobiological factors. It is done in accordance with the regulation of international organization for wine and wine. Based on the analysis uh, and classification of climatic and soil conditions, it is determined the area of grapevine cultivation. Also, it is defined the boundaries of uh, viticultural regions and subregions. It is also given recommendation for varieties and rootstocks. Uh, it is defined it uh, technical measures and also an analogical uh, procedures. And uh, all this um, is to create a base for the registration of origin and geographic origin of wine. Montenegrin viticulture area is divided in four regions, Montenegrin basin of Skadar Lake, Montenegrin coast, Nudo and Montenegrin north. And uh, within these uh, four regions, there are 15 sub-regions. For every region are defined climatic characteristics such as Winkler index, uh, heliothermal index, night freshness index, drought index and soil type. By zoning for every region, it is given a list of recommendation and permitted grapevine varieties. Zoning data showed that 97% of Montenegrin production is concentrated in Montenegrin basin of Scudder Lake and Montenegrin coast together with Nudo occupies only 3%. Red grapevine varieties make uh, 69%. 23% are white and less than 8% are table grapevine varieties. The major part are autochthonous variety, 86.25% and international varieties are 13%. 97.21% of uh, total number of producers grow granite. 50.50% of producers grow Kratosia, uh, while 4.60% uh, producer, of producers grow Cabernet Sauvignon, and only 2.2% producers uh, grow Chardonnay. From the total area, 82.20% is under Ranet variety, and it is followed by Cabernet Sauvignon, Kratosia, and the other red varieties. From total area under white, 52.30% is under Chardonnay and it is followed by Krsta, Cicitelli and other whites. Appreciating autochthonous grapevine varieties, research of grapevine diversity in Montenegro started with detailed uh, literature research. There are numerous data about Montenegrin autochthonous varieties and it has been described by many authors. One of the first literature data is from uh, 1891 in uh, newspaper Grlica, where Mitter Plamenot stated that wines from Crnica are the best in Montenegro. Peter Plamenot in Viale and Vermonel Ampelography in uh, 1910 gave the first description of Branet's variety. All authors from former Yugoslavia report Branet and Kratosia as Montenegrin autochthonous grapevine varieties. 
But the oldest written document is medieval Buddha statute from 15th century. This statute contains 20 chapters dedicated to viticulture, grape and vine, and the whole chapter uh, 261 indicates about the importance of Kratoshia variety in Montenegro in that period. Academician Ulicevic, in uh, his work in 1959 and 1966, gave description of autochthonous grapevine varieties in Montenegro. He gave data about spreading cultivation area and main characteristic of Franat, Kratoshia, Krstac and Žižek. But genetic identification of uh, in literature considered autochthonous grapevine varieties uh, was started in 2004 uh, in cooperation with Italian partners. Original and unique DNA profile showed Granat, Krastac and Žižek. Kratoshia variety uh, has the same genetic profile as Zinfandel from California, Primitivo from Italy and Srijana Kastelanski from Croatia. Also, uh, Vranac variety is in close genetic relation with the Kratoshia variety. The company Trinesti Ul Plantage in 2011 from the Ministry of Science received a license for performing scientific research activities in the field of agriculture and our company continue with the uh, project, international project in order to contribute uh, the conservation, preservation and revitalization of our autochthonous and domesticated grapevine varieties. On this slide you could find a list of some international projects that uh, we uh, performed but the most comprehensive research on genetic diversity uh, of grapevine in Montenegro we did uh, with Spanish partner Institute for Grapevine and Vine from La Rioja. Project was performed in cooperation with Montenegrin Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development, Ministry of Science and National Association of Mine Growers and Vine Makers. By now, as I said, it is the most comprehensive research of grapevine in Montenegro. It was marked and sampled over the 500 vines from different localities from all Montenegrin viticulture regions. A total number of collected samples within this research uh, was 512. Uh, 462 samples were from vineyard sites throughout Montenegro. 50 samples were from collection on the Biotechnical Faculty in Podgorica. Identification samples were marked in and collected over three years, and the sample uh, and criteria for uh, marking was to sample vines older than 50 years uh, on the traditional vine growing area all over Montenegro. On these pictures uh, you can uh, see a research team from Plantage and our partners from La Rioja and uh, one of the, uh, of the results of this uh, very important projects for Montenegro is a formation of national collection of autochthonous grapevine varieties on Tiamusko field. The collection was formed in 2016. So far, a total number of identified planted biotypes is 116 and it will be continuously uh, planted and spreaded. The results on this project uh, confirmed that Montenegrin viticulture is based on families of genetically related varieties. The varieties Kratoshia and Razaklia form the basis of Montenegrin viticulture. Kratoshia has 21 offspring in Montenegro. We also found the parents of Franet's variety. So Kratoshia is a father and Dulienga is a mother of Franet's variety. Uh, within this project, uh, we discovered uh, 28 pedigrees, uh, of which 26 are new ones. 63 new genotypes were found in Montenegro, uh, and these genotypes are not in the available databases so far. And as conclusion, can we uh, emphasize that the history of Montenegrin viticulture is written in its varieties. 
uh, the, the second step of uh, work on the autochthonous grapevine diversity in Montenegro is clonal selection of autochthonous grapevine varieties and clonal selection was done in order to improve the quality of grapes and wine of the variety Vranet. The results of decades work is seven selected and recognized clones of Vranet variety and all clones in some characteristics surpass the population of this variety. So the conclusion of all this work could be the zoning of the viticultural production area of Montenegro in the long term is the basis for systematic implementation of all measures to mitigate the negative effects of climate change in viticulture and winemaking of our country. Based on the soil, climb and orography analysis in Montenegro, four viticultural regions and 15 sub-regions have been defined in which recommended and permitted grapevine varieties can be grown. The study on zoning confirmed that the Montenegrin assortment is dominated by autochthonous and domesticated varieties. Through decades of work on clonal selection of Vranets variety, seven clones of the Vranets variety have been selected and recognized. Research on the diversity of Montenegrin grapevine varieties, their pedigrees, population variability as a confirmation of a long tradition of growing grapes and wine making in Montenegro. These varieties are not only a source of genetic variability and diversity, but their genetic variability allows them a greater ability to adapt to climate change. Collecting confirmed genotypes in Chemovsko polje will contribute to their preservation and further expansion, which is a resource and a cornerstone for the production of new wines and ensures the development and competitiveness of Plantage and Montenegrin wines on the market for decades to come. So, in the end, I, I want to thank you once again for this opportunity and please enjoy in Montenegrin wines.